Moving on to our favorite topic on this than the third, which is none other than relationships. relationships. And what's topping off the relationships this week, baby girl? All right. So, D.C. Of course. Dear D.C., being a married woman, is it wrong that I accept drinks from guys when I go out without my husband? Ladies first. What say you? <laughs> Ladies first. What say um, you? Okay. So... I think I answered you on the page, mm. but I say it's not wrong, okay? Mm. <laughs> she has a boo in the crowd. <laughs> she has 100% been booed. <laughs> boo. Okay, so this is why. If a guy is just out, some, and this is when I was hanging out in the club, right? Mm -hmm. It'd be a guy, he'd come in there at the bar, he buys buy his drink, right? You sitting there minding your own business, doing your thing. He looks over. Get her what she drinking. Boom. And that's it. I've seen men. Smooth move that's, dude. And this is it's an era of men that are like that, Smooth right? Smooth move dude. So in that type of situation. No harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. And nine times out of ten, he was probably married. Yeah. But he came to the bar. He saw you bought a drink. That's it. Right. Now, I do think you can get real kind of shaky when he buy a drink. Now he want to babysit you. Now he want to sit and talk. Right. And I go with you tonight. Yeah, and then that's, that's just too much. And tonight. That's annoying. We're together. <laughs> right now. We're together in this so, moment. So, you know, it just depends. It depends. And I agree with that sentiment. It definitely depends. I think it always depends. Yeah. Because this is my thing. We got a group of not even bad chicks, just chicks. Yeah. Maybe one of them's bad. And Buddy asked step up like, ah, oh, baby girl, what? Blah, 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 blah. She like, well, shit, we, you know, we, know, we ain't here, blah, blah, blah. You're like, man, I'm getting all y'all a shot. I'm getting all y'all a drink. What the bam? Some of them might be married. Some of them might yeah. not be. He's not checking for y'all. And he might be like, yo, round on me. On, you know, yeah. that's technically a man buying a married woman a drink. Is it cool when she's with her friends versus solo dolo? Like, I need a little bit more context um, yeah, to cool the story. Yeah, she's cool when she's with her friends because... That's what guys do. Not all, right. okay. But some guys will buy the group, everybody around, and you know you keep doing your thing. I just think it is wrong when you cross those lines. Those lines being meaning you're going into, you're trying to get to know each other. And this is my thing. What happens if we take the drink out of the equation? Because technically, when we're saying, "Oh, may I buy you a drink?" I'm saying, "Can I offer you some poison to get you inebriated, to possibly get you off your square, so I can get in that box?" <laughs> At the end of the day, right? <laughs> I think that's what we're really saying there. What if it was a square? What if we're at the club, not too big on drinking? We step outside to get some fresh air, smokers, and it's just like, "Man, I got a square." Shorty step up and I'm like, "Man, baby, you want a little short?" Boom. And now we're smoking a square together. We might end up having a conversation. We might end up doing these things. But is that as taboo as a drink? No. And people do that all the time. All the time like, this happens. All the time. So why are we only talking about drinks when it's really And you know what? It might go breaker. a little, little deeper when they smoking Come cigarettes. Come on, man. Because you, really you like, y'all been through some shit. <laughs> you smoke. Why do you smoke? <laughs> You've been through things. Oh, yeah. 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 So, I mean, and that's my thing. Like, don't get so caught up in the drink of it all. Yeah. But get so, get get familiar with the spirit of the conversation mm -hmm. and the spirit of the engagement. And um, I always err on this. If you can inform your significant other, whether that's a, whether that's a wife or not, nah, whether mm -hmm. that's a girlfriend, whether that's a fuck buddy, of <laughs> what you did that night and can right. keep it 100,000 trillion, no problem. But if you can't go home and be like, man, yeah, I was out with the girls. I stepped out. They was all drunk as fuck. You know, I don't drink like that. So I stepped out, had a square with this dude. And we talked about this. Cool. But if you can't admit that you did that, cool. And I'm not saying go admit that. I'm saying if you can't admit <laughs> right. that, then it's not cool. But if you can, if you're comfortable with divulging that information, then I don't feel like it's, I think we're talking about cheating, right? Yeah. I don't think that's cheating if you could be transparent. Well, I think you could be comfortable all day long with admitting that, right? But right. if you're a partner isn't comfortable receiving that just keep that to yourself keep moving yeah i'm not encouraging you to tell <laughs> on yourself but i am asking when you do these things would you be comfortable to yeah. if asked yeah how does your night go oh it was cool i need to know more tell me everything that happened tonight if you would tell that part then you're good if you would leave that part out you're bogus that's my opinion yeah it's a slippery slope <laughs> G. it's a slippery slope but that's why that nigga shouldn't ask that question <laughs> right he shouldn't ask that question yeah yeah but not tell me everything at the end of the day it, depends. it was a great time
Yeah, Sorry, leave it at no. that. What did you do? <laughs> what porn channel did you right. watch while I was out, nigga? Let's talk about that. Right. Okay. What else we got? So next question. Now, this is just from having different talks with different people about relationships and one is in this lane, the other is in, is in that lane, right? Mm -hmm. So is dating someone in your same lane slash career field easier than dating someone that is in, in a completely opposite lane? Essentially meaning the time and lifestyle is different. Okay. I'm, can I go first on yeah. this one? Now, this is my thing. I think that I hate to cop out, but it does still depend. But these are the pros that I can see with both situations. Okay. Okay. If you are with somebody that is in the same lane as you are, shares the same passions more or less as you do, and just, you know, speaks that lingo Language. that you mm -hmm. speak, that's some dope shit. Especially yeah. when y'all have something maybe within that space that y'all are building together. You know what okay. I'm saying? I think that's some of the dopest shit that I've ever seen was two people that was just hungry met each other in those familiar settings and went after something that they can call their own collectively. Yeah, okay. That's some dope shit. On the flip side, if you get with somebody that has the, you know, it goes, it starts with physical. They got the look. All right. You start to check in with them. They have the personality, but there's a disconnect because she's in finance and you're a nonprofit, let's just say. So those are totally different worlds or law and nonprofit or anything that doesn't match up exactly mm -hmm. anything that you love you will learn so if i love my reesey pc and you on a totally different wavelength than me i'm going to study and get familiar with what your lifestyle is and become okay. a part of that and see how i can complement that and support that and vice versa as opposed to your lane is your lane my lane is my lane like maybe i can help you merge you know what i'm saying that type shit so i think it's um, benefits to both Sounds like a lot of work. It is, but that's why I said anything you love. I ain't say anything you like or anything you fucking on. I say anything you love, you will learn. And if you love that significant other, you will learn their lifestyle. You will learn their industry. You will learn how you can get into that lexicon of whatever it is they're talking about and be able to hold a conversation when the nigga want to bring you to a cocktail party and you're not just sitting there like dumbfounded, like, oh, I know nothing about <laughs> this. You're like, no, I actually heard, you know, I read in the headlines, da 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 You can actually speak that speak. What you say? Oof. I say that's tiring. That's a job. It's a job. But isn't love, isn't love a job? No, who wants Love's another job? job. <laughs> who wants these things? Who wants things? another job? Uh, on no benefits. <laughs> you have no benefits from this job. <laughs> but it's a job, G. It's a whole job. But I, I would just say that there, there are positives. What are, what are some, maybe some negatives? I don't even have an answer after that. It's, I'm tired. Yeah. Just yeah. thinking about it. I'm weary. It. No, I think, um, like, for example... If you're an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and then the other person is a nine to five. Nine to five, yeah. It's hard. It's, it's hard it's understanding hard. at first because, and I'll say this from personal experience, when you at your job, you're like, what are you doing? What? Yeah, you just, what? Why, why are you like, chained to a the, desk? You want to account. Come get lunch. Well, the person who is at the desk is trying to account for all the time of the entrepreneur. Oh, like what? Like what are you adding to the bottom line? What are you doing? What, what, right. and, and don't say you're tired. What you been doing all day? You're tired from what? What you do? Like, from thinking? You know. <laughs> from freelancing? Does that make you tired? You know, sometimes yeah. there, can, there can be that bitterness. Yeah. Maybe because the other person isn't in their passion and doing what they want to do. It usually stems from. Yeah. But it, it also can come from just not understanding that these are the amount of hours it's going to take. This is what I need to do. And I'm sorry, your job is over at five, but mine mm. isn't. Mine is so. five to nine. So it is complicated. And like you said, it's just work. Yeah. And I think that the contrary, the reverse is true as well. If you are a entrepreneur and you have a nine to fiver, you might be like, why are you so busy right now? I just want to go <laughs> to the spot. Yeah, I just want to lunch. lunch for two hours. Why can't you lunch? <laughs> For two hours. It's only two hours. There's 24 of these motherfuckers in a day. And they be like, bro, I have 45 minutes at right. best, including travel time. Please don't do this to I've me. I've been on both sides. Yeah, so I've been that person uh, at work where you be like, all right, girl, I can, I can check with you for a quick second. Man, but I got to go back to work. Right. Can we have lunch over the phone? <laughs> <laughs> I swear on everything. It, but it's real, though. But I think that, again, if you're comfortable in your shit and yeah. you know who you are, I don't think that you have to project your nine to five on the people. And no, I don't think don't. if you 
are an entrepreneur, you don't have to project your entrepreneurship Agreed. on people. Because I, what I've learned is people project their truths. So when I was full fledged, ten toes, ten toes down, nine to five in, why aren't you nine to five in? What the fuck is wrong with you? What have been? When I stepped out on faith and started doing my, you know, entrepreneur thing, it's like, man, gee, the best thing in the world is to have freedom and to be an entrepreneur. But then when I got scooped up and now I can do both, why aren't you doing both? You should be on a <laughs> nine to five that allows you to be an entrepreneur. You should be an entrepreneur. Like, well, why, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's not but a that's lot my of, truth. That doesn't have to be everybody else's. And it's not a lot of places that allow you to do that. Oh, they I'm really so don't favored. Want you. Oh, niggas is not fucking with that. Yeah, they really team. don't want you to have your own. Mm -mm. So, mm. Last it's question. Um, dear DC, I've been dating someone for four months and I really like him. Mm. Congratulations. The problem is I found out that he lied to me about his age. He's actually seven years older than he originally said. Should I be done with him? Now, it just depends on how high we're going up seven, like mm, where he's right. at. Does this make this nigga 50 <laughs> or late 30s? Like that matters. I was thinking more like 60. 60, yeah. I heard yeah, that them, they still in the game too. Why are you still in the game at 60? The game's over. No, you know they getting divorced. They coming back out and they get trying to try early. to get early. <laughs> get divorced a little earlier. You can get the twenty year olds and the forty year olds. Yeah. Why are you waiting? Why would you go through a quarter century of <laughs> marriage to get divorced? Give me five and I'm out. But I, I will say this. Um, it does depend, again, on what that, <laughs> what age are we talking, man? My homegirl, man, she was telling me, shout out Source, she was telling me, like, she saw a 60-year-old man with, like, a 20-something-year-old and was just fearful for this 20-year-old. Like, man, this is not a good look. I don't, I don't know what she meant by fearful, but it was still, like, kind of just nasty, I guess. Well, I mean, some of these 60-year-old men don't look 60. And that's the thing. Like, if you wear it well... Huh. And I think that's a down. part of our society, too, though, because yeah. I was watching this while well, I was looking at this, um, I don't know, some post on Facebook, and it was talking about how we tell younger people to look older, right? So if yeah. you think about people that are in high school, I want to beat my face. The, the, the guys want to have the beers connecting yeah. as early as possible with the band. And then we tell older people look to young. look younger. And then that middle phase is just like, huh, you're an adult. Yeah. Get, the, get your ass out of here. Go to work. <laughs> Go to your nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Right. But we are us as a society kind of celebrate younger people that look grown and older people that look, look young. young. And is, is it a surprise that those people hook up? No. Uh, that's kind of tough. But I would say this. If your relationship was founded on a lie, that's a telltale. Well, you have to believe who people are when they tell you the first time, G. My thing is, how old are we that we're still lying about our age? We did that in high school. What's the problem, Bob? Yeah, like maybe. Wait, what maybe. do you mean we did that in high school? We did that in high school. Who did that in high school? I never lied about my age in high Boys school. Boys don't, but girls oh. do. And say what? You're older? Yeah. To do what? Dicks? No. What are you trying but, to do? So The 17 year old is trying to get with the 19, 21 year old type shit? Like, why would you say you're that's older? That's reasonable. Why would you say you're older? <laughs> you always say you're older. Like, Okay, so for me, I was younger, but I looked older. Mm. So, still to this day, so, she's... so older guys would come to me. Yes. And so I would say I was like two years older than what I was. Uh, this is, two, okay, three. a little sprinkle. A little it sprinkle wasn't no bag. seven. Two or three, you don't know. Okay. Two or three. Yeah, yeah, not five. No, not five. Okay, okay, okay. Two because, or three. I can and take. I stopped doing that because one time my mom, the, the, the guy called my house, mm. and my mom was like, you know, how old are you, son? I think he was 16. She was like, do you know how old she is? She's one. <laughs> the guy was like, she's yeah, 11. she's 15 or something. She was like, no, she's 13. Mm. I was like, eh. She bloomed. Sorry. Early. Sorry. <laughs> she bloomed and kept blowing. Lotus flower bomb. So, yeah, I don't, seven years, that's a lot. That, that's thirsty to me. Because this is my thing. I think there's enough single people your age that if you was on that you could find those available. Yeah, it's like websites and shit, and apps and shit, huh? Most men ain't trying to date their age in the age group. Come on, now. but you know, most females jump. ain't trying to date at the age. They're trying to date a little older, I would think. Well, okay, so it depends on the females. The female mm. is younger, she'll date older. But okay. when she gets older, mm, she's she dating younger. Boom, boom. Or she's dating around her age, but right. she's not trying to look for older. Okay. 
So what happens when, I was like, so you saying, damn, like a 60-year-old man is going to have to find a 60-year-old woman? I thought he was going to be able to find like a 45, 40-year-old. She's not checking for the 60-year-old It just man. depends. I, I, I could see that. 40-year-olds, those are cougars. And those, they but want that mid to. Taraji and Kelvin. They want that 20, that mid to late 20. I ain't even going to say mid to late 20. Oh, I, I will. I, if I, I'll say that. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> if I'm in my 40s, late 40s, I would just Early know, 40s. I'm talking about early 40s. They want that 40s, mid to late 20s. No, I go early 30s. You would go early. Same right. thing. Same right. thing. Right. Yeah, okay. You late a lot late in those 20s. Years. Late 20s and early 30s early are the same 30s. thing. Like okay. That. Well, we'll say yeah, late. After 20s. We'll agree with 30. <laughs> them 40, them early, tw early 40 year old women want 30 year old men. Roundabout. Mm. Facts. Okay. Nigga, here? stop lying, dog. Stop yeah. lying. Like, if she wants you, she wants you. it doesn't matter what your age is, dog. It's the other things that you bring to the table. And especially if you don't look, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's not like motherfuckers going to be. It's not an issue. Yeah, it's a non-issue unless you make it one. And dude sounds like a goofy. Would you agree? Yep. Okay. Well, that about wraps us up for relationships this week on this and the third. Literally. <laughs>